What's going on guys, it's Iridium here, and today I am back with another tutorial for you guys. About a week and a half ago, I posted a video on how to air dribble off of the wall in Rocket League. And in the comments of that video, a few of you guys are asking if I could do a tutorial on air dribbling off of the ground as well. So that's what I'm bringing you guys today. So as usual, without any further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. So what you guys need to know about air dribbling off the ground instead of the wall is that it's a lot harder to do and it's a lot less practical. And what I mean by harder is that it doesn't necessarily take more skill. You just need a lot more things to go your way in order for this to work out on the ground. So I'm screwing around in free training here and you'll see that some of these air dribbles that I'm attempting won't really go my way because these perfect things aren't lining up. So what I'm going to do is go through the steps on how to do a nice clean air dribble off the ground and then I'm going to explain what happens if you don't get the little details right that'll let you do a clean air dribble. And then after that I'll explain the few situations where ground air dribbles are practical in game and that'll be the video. Alright so the first step as always in air dribbling is to get control of the ball. And while practicing you can do this by lightly hitting the ball down to yourself as you see me do here and then popping it onto your hood to start the dribble. Now the next step is the most crucial part of this whole air dribble you're about to do. Step two is popping the ball into the air. As you're seeing in this loop, I get a nice double jump that pops the ball into the air so I can get a nice carry or air dribble through the air into the net. So considering your whole air dribble is basically based off of this pop itself, good thing to do is go into free training and do what I like to call roller coaster training. You get the ball on top of your car like we did in step one and then just pop the ball up and let it fall back down on top of your car and then pop it up again and just do that up and down, up and down, over and over again. What this does is just helps you train your muscle memory for popping the ball and it positions your car perfectly for step three of air dribbling off the ground. Step three is pretty easy if you got all previous steps correct and all perfect things have lined up for you. If you got the perfect pop and your car lines up with the sweet spot of the ball, you should be able to just carry and glide the ball into the back of the net. In the sloop you're seeing, yes, I did get a decent air dribble, but the ball was slightly too far on the front or hood of my car, and it refrained me from getting the nice gliding motion you should be getting from ground air dribbles. Instead, I was kind of just pushing the ball parallel to the ground into the net, and this happened because of my not-so-perfect pop in the beginning. And now I'm going to show you the two things that can happen if the ball is too far in the front of your car or too far in the back. So in this loop, you're seeing me pop the ball when it's too far on the front of my hood. And what this is doing is throwing the ball out in front of me and making me have to catch up to it. And this isn't what we want for a perfect air dribble. It's all about popping the ball up into the and then getting under it and gliding it into the back of the net. So here I'm popping the ball when it's too far on the back of my car and this is pretty self-explanatory. It just throws the ball behind you and you can't really do anything with it. So as you can see, finding the perfect spot on top of your car is crucial when wanting to start a pop to an air dribble. And when you're doing your training, just keep doing that roller coaster practice which will help you find that sweet spot on top of the car that'll pop the ball into the air for the air dribble. So finally what I'm going to do is show you guys the only two ways I believe air dribbles off the ground are practical in game. So what I'll do is I'll let you guys watch this clip first, then we'll talk about it after. So the first and most used way to apply air dribbles off the ground into your game is just to simply air dribble over someone. In 1v1s and 1v1 situations, it's very unpredictable and it gives you a nice clear path to the top shelf of the net. As you can see on the screen, I stop the ball, get control of it, put it on that sweet spot on top of my car and throw it up into the air, air dribble over the opponent and into the net. Here's the second clip, once again I'll let you guys watch and then I'll talk about it after. Starting off, this clip is very similar to the first one and all other air dribbles in general, except after I pop the ball, I let it fall, which fakes my opponent and it lets me put the ball under him and into the net. This fake move is essentially just the roller coaster training, so if you guys have done that enough, it should be a piece of cake to you. So that's going to do it for me today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you learned something. Just keep in mind that this is usually only practical in these situations. And other than that, air dribbles off the wall are the go-to air dribbles, so if you guys haven't learned how to do one of those, fairly similar to this, just go into the description below for the tutorial link. So on that note, thank you guys for watching. And I will check you guys on Saturday with a brand new video. Ta-ta for now.